wait, brave travelers. I am Alexandra. Many years past, I lived in your world. It was my hands that sculpted this statue. Let me tell you a tale. A forgotten moment lost in the great ocean of history. The story of the bloodline of the sages. I was born into the Crambartle family. A family descended from one of the legendary seven sages. But my generation saw the legacy of the sages pass to the Albert family when I married. You see, I was the chosen heir. The blood of the sages has remained in the Albert family ever since. But that lineage was severed by a dark and evil power when the life of the latest chosen heir, Alistair, was ended. Nevertheless, I am an ancestor of the Albert family. So, I will do everything I can to help preserve the Albert family line. I want you to take the crown spinels from the statue. I have no doubt they will be of use to you. Now Jessica is the only one who can continue the Albert family line. I beseech you to go to her aid.
You disgust me! I didn't know you from Adam, but still I took you in. And this is how you repay me. I... I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I... I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold. Just who do you think you are? Oh, oh, oh. Has this imbecile upset you too, Sir Leopold? Of course he has. Such impertinence. No doubt the vile thereabouts put poison in your food as well. Please, Master! You must believe me! I would never serve Leopold... Sir Leopold poison! Why should I believe you? If you want to prove your innocence, you'll have to eat some yourself. Not like that! On your hands and knees. <laughs> That's it. It suits you, David. Well, said the apology. He seems safe enough. Enjoy. Oh, oh, oh. David. Sir Leopold is as much your master as I am. I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? Now, ah, you're back. <laughs> I, uh... I apologize for my servant's unsightly display. So, what are you doing here? If you come to report back, I'll uh, be waiting in my room. I hope that little scene before didn't upset you. Is nothing unusual. I don't know why, but just looking at David's face makes my blood boil. Of course, I'd never dream of firing him. I have far too much fun being his master. <laughs> but enough of that. Have you got the jewels? Have you brought me the Grand Spinners? Ha <laughs> You have! I won't have you bore me with details. I only care about results. Yes. Just holding them in my hands, I can feel the waves of magical energy flowing out of them. Making an impenetrable barrier will be simplicity itself with these. But, and I expect you're feeling rather pleased with yourself. Help. So, let me reward you. You may serve me as a god, 
until that meddling girl comes back. I presume you accept this honor. Very good. From this moment on, you will be my bodyguards. And now... Come this way. This leads to my secret library. You will find a book for me in there. The book is called The Big Book of Barriers. It contains a recipe for making a very powerful barrier. So long! That pesky wand-waving bimbo is turned up again! I must erect the barrier immediately! Did you find the big book of barriers? Don't disappoint me now! Yes! Yes! This is it! Now, let me see. It's the final barrier. I must be clean at once. You! Go outside and stall that meddlesome floozy. What are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. Can't you tell a great magician when you see one? 
just before you go. Fiery foo and babbling goo. The old. Now that you're in top form, go and stall that wand-waving menace. Every second counts, go!